back to the Y factor. This time, we will have to. Anish Bajwa directed this comedy horror film. This time by Anish, unlike Priya Darshan the last time. Anish Bajwa is known for directing mad cap comedies sometimes. Beautifully entertaining sometimes, nonsensical. So when he decided to help this film, there were speculations and fears that how would his treatment be. <clears throat> Fortunately for the audiences, his treatment has been brilliant. His handling of the subject of both comedy in this genre and horror in this new modified horror comedy genre for India is brilliant. And that's what makes the film enjoyable. Completely cashing in on on Karthik Aryan's craze and fan following. The film doesn't waste much time into getting into that. Set up in a dreamy eyed Manali, which has its rave music festival or something of that sort. The movie opens up with Karthik and Kiara meeting there, and then so on and so forth, without any spoilers. The film focuses on the same concept that Monjrika is still haunting a family, and how do they get rid? They manage to lock her up in the room and survive eighteen years without it. Events lead to Kiara and Karthik reaching there, and Monjrika is set free. In terms of story handling and treatment, yes, very nicely done. Love the plots, twists, and turns repeatedly, and very well managed. And the the grand reveal is simply brilliant. Something I'm sure none of us, the audiences, were expecting. At least I wasn't expecting that. Songs are okay, barring uh, the Deethali and the title track, which comes as the end credit scene. The rest is okay, but I guess they had to put it in to ease the tension on the screen. <clears throat> The cast, Min Guraji, after a long time to be seen on screen, is good. The film belongs to Tabu. She is super brilliant and shows once again what a powerhouse actress she is. And it is the bad luck of Bollywood that we don't get to see her more often. And she's aged so gracefully and still pulling off. Such an author back to it, simply brilliant. Chacha ji, Sanjay Mishra, Pandita Hen, and Rajpal Yadav are the scene stealers of the film. Sanjay Mishra from the word go, like all his movies, has you in his eating out of his hand. I was just hoping that had they got Pankaj to party in this. Mix. What a brilliant combo it would have been to have Sanjay Mishra and Pankaj Tripathi on screen together, and then having the shenanigans sh sh going on. Sanjay Mishra is simply brilliant. Every time he is on screen, you just feel that like wish he would be there longer. And that's as how good as he is. Uh, Kia Narwadi is nice. She puts up a good effort. She she's supposed to look good, so she looks good. But she's good enough. I wouldn't expect much, much for her. Karthik Arun. After Sonu ki Titi to Sweetie, four years have passed by. He's done about five odd movies, but I think this is the first time that he actually lived up to the promise which he gave in Sonu. He's quite a few places. He will remind you of Akshay Kumar from the Bhool uh, Bhulaiya one. He his mannerisms, etc. His swag. But his own swag and charisma, he continues and adds in the flavor, which makes the movie so much more relatable. And he scores brilliantly in his role as Rohan. So all in all, this is an entertaining package. It was the audiences were double than what I saw for Jayesh by Jordan, which is, speaks volumes about how people are accepting movies irrespective of the nepotism factor or maybe because of the nepotism factor they don't, they want to see there are its moments of thrills and skills so hold on to your popcorn does it have the Y factor definitely yes 
I would give it a three and a half out of five. Do like and subscribe to our channel, and please follow us on Instagram and Twitter.